Michael is not even supposed to be here. At six weeks, when we found out we were pregnant with twins, they told us we would be lucky to make it to 16 weeks with one baby, let alone two. He had a really large hemorrhage behind his placenta. And so they didn't even expect him to make it. So the fact that he's here is a miracle in and of itself. We had no idea that anything was ever wrong with his heart. He started having tet spells, meaning he would drop his oxygen saturations. He'd turn blue. It would take him a really long time to recover, even on oxygen. And so at two weeks old, he was transferred to Children's. Michael has a common condition known as Tetralogy of Fallot. The blood vessels that go to his lungs, the pulmonary arteries, have always been quite small. And we've needed to address that in a couple of stages along the way to try and increase the size and make them more normal. So at 17 days old, he had his first heart surgery. He was still on a ventilator for approximately seven or eight days after surgery. He went home at 33 days old. And then 14 hours later, he was back in the back of an ambulance on his way back to Children's and where he's stayed off and on for the next six months. He's needed both several surgeries uh, as well as catheterizations in order to open up the blood vessels, uh, to open up the pathway from his heart to his lungs. And he even needed a replacement of one of the heart valves uh, because we're trying to get blood to go into his lungs and not slosh back into the heart. In 2017, Michael wasn't due for a cardiology appointment until November of that year. But by September, I was like, something's not right. I think I need to push up his cardiology appointment. So I did, and it was determined that he was in right-sided heart failure and that he would need his pulmonary valve replaced. The care at the heart center specifically has been great. But once we got to the actual surgery, it, it changed him. He's got anxiety now. He remembers everything, whereas he didn't, because his first two were when he was a baby. And then once he hit six weeks post-op, he started gaining weight and growing, and definitely, he was playing baseball at six weeks. I think what really helped him was shortly after surgery, camp was an option. Camp Braveheart is a camp at Camp Twin Lakes for kids with cardiac issues. And I think that really helped him seeing other kids that are like him. One thing that's special is that we have a Kids at Heart community, which is families that get to come together and support one another um, at various events throughout the year. The ladies who run it do a really good job of making sure that our needs are met. One of the things I like about the Kids at Heart, though, is they actually take the time in to make special events just for the siblings. Oh, yes. That way it, it lets day. the siblings know they're important, too, and not the entire focus is on the heart child. And today, Michael is doing really well. He plays baseball. He's in fourth grade. I think his long-term outlook is excellent. It's likely that we'll need to keep an eye on the, the valve that lets blood to his heart and the pulmonary arteries. Uh, but with close surveillance uh, and the option of opening them up with catheters and other techniques, I think he really should do quite well in the long term. I would love to see him grow up and go to college and have a family. And he wants to be Dr. Cantor when he grows up, as long as he can still umpire baseball. Mm -hmm.